Good morning. This is Luke Thomas, home course chair of the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. It's 9.49 in the morning. 9.49 in the morning on Monday, September 18th, 2023. 9.49 in the morning on Monday, September 18th, 2023. And we have an update for today, Monday. Um, we put out a map last night. We are always updating our forecast data and maps, and we have uh, very nice looking maps that are coming out for California, Japan, and Italy so far. We'll be doing Greece in a little bit. And uh, we had a forecast last night for this situation right here. 91% in the northern part of San Francisco Bay up to Lake Tahoe. And during that time, we got a 3.5 and a 3.4, 3.5 north of San Francisco right in this high-risk area here, and a 3.4 near uh, Lake Tahoe, which is right up in this area. So that worked out perfectly. And then you can see the risk moves to the uh, Monterey, southern portion of the San Francisco Bay, up to like Parkfield area uh, this morning, 91% of that area, so about a 3.0, 3.5 is possible. And a 3.0 to 3.5 is possible down near Santa Maria, Santa Barbara, Ojai, up to Ridgecrest area in Southern California this evening. And then the risk begins to build here in the San Francisco Bay. A 3.5 is possible in the morning of the 19th. Uh, but on the evening of the 19th, which starts at noon, from noon to midnight on the 19th, a strong earthquake is possible in the San Francisco Bay. Uh, let's say 4.0 to 4.5 is possible. And then the risk blooms across the north. So a 4.0 to 5.0, maybe a 4.5 is possible from the San Francisco Bay up to uh, South Lake Tahoe. And uh, Eureka, this whole northern portion of California, 4.0 uh, to 4.5 is likely. And then the risk uh, moves north of South Lake Tahoe on the 20th in the evening. So watch for that in California. In uh, Japan, we have uh, 4.5 and 4.7 that hit in the high risk area there. And now we have a 5.3 is likely to hit uh, Japan during, let's move that microphone a little closer. Sorry about that. Um, 5.3 is likely to hit um, near Tokyo um, sometime during the next 24 hours. Here's the morning of the 19th. Here's the evening of the 19th. Right there near Tokyo, 5.3 is likely to hit near Tokyo during the next 24 hours. And then uh, still very high risk uh, south of Tokyo there, Shizuoka area on uh, the 20th in the morning, 20th in the evening. Uh, very high risk uh, south of Shizuoka and southwest of Tokyo on the 20th in the evening. Here's the risk graph. You can see this is the peak on the 19th and the 20th for uh, Japan. And that's about a 5.3. Here's the magnitude on the top. Looking for about a 6.2 earthquake around the 24th to the 25th of uh, September in Japan. So keep an eye out for that. And we'll keep uh, the warnings and, and we'll know the location better in the very near future, but a big quake, 6.2 is likely, 24th or 25th of September. <clears throat> in uh, Italy, we have 90% risk down near uh, Sicily, where a 4.0 earthquake is possible down there on uh, this evening in the 18th, and then 86% down in southeastern or southern portion of Sicily on the 19th in the morning pretty high risk in the north not sure exactly what's going to happen there maybe 4.5 is possible in the far north part of uh italy on the morning of the 19th and then the more of uh, the evening in the 19th still very high risk in the north and a moderate risk down here in the south where 3.5 is possible near sicily but then you can see here it begins to get higher risk in the north where 4.5 to 5.0 is possible on the morning of the 20th, or, well, that's in Italy, and then on the uh, near Croatia, 
uh, 4.5 to 5.0 is uh, likely on the evening of the 20th. You can see all these maps over quakeprediction.com. We'll be doing an update for the Greece, the country of Greece here soon. Once again, in California, uh, the risk last night was near northern San Francisco Bay. That has moved down to the Monterey area right now, where 3.5 is possible. The risk uh, increased down in near Santa Barbara, Santa Maria, Ojai to Ridgecrest area on the evening, uh, to this evening in California, where 3.5 to 4.0 is possible. And then the risk builds in uh, the San Francisco Bay area, where a 4.5 is likely on the 19th in the evening or the 20th in the morning. And you can see that risk is building across uh, California there most likely in the evening of the 19th into the morning of the 20th, a 4.5 to 5.0 earthquake is likely in the San Francisco Bay area. 18 years of research here at quakeprediction.com. And uh, I haven't checked it lately, about 263,000 followers on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter over the last uh, uh, 18 years now. Um, I haven't checked it lately, but about 263,000 the last time I checked. And uh, our forecasts are continue to, continually improving and um, more exactitude every time we come out with a new forecast. So be aware in the San Francisco Bay area, late in the 19th into the 20th, for about a 4.5 to 5.0, a much larger earthquake is coming up, I believe, on the 24th or 25th of this month. So be aware of that. A 5.0 or larger earthquake is coming to the San Francisco Bay, I think, on the, about the 24th. But we'll have more information as that gets closer. Thanks again. Luke Thomas Holmquist here with the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. And we'll be talking to you soon. Be on alert, especially in uh, the Tokyo area of, of Japan. About a 5.3 earthquake is likely soon there.